Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> morning. Something wrong, Cody? You seem to have something in your firebox. <laughs> must, uh, must, must be stuffed with bad oil. Bad oil, you say? I thought I saw that crying years ago. Mark, what are you talking about? Well, if you must know, I was a detective back in the days. <coughs> You're a detective? Can you tell us about it? Certainly. It all started in the year of 1991. I was down at the coal mine, mine reading over in the newspapers. And then I was onto something big. Stolen locomotive parts. Parts. Mysterious engine disappearance. I was about to call in the books. And that's when he rolled in. My partner, good old Trusty. You are late. A hundred apologies, old patient one. You have to solve me this big case we're on of those stolen locomotive parts that are gone missing. What's the penalty for this, Mark? $840 for the capture of the criminal. No. Whoa, okay. Let's go. Oh. And we set out on our mission. We arrived at the San Bernardino Yards late at night, where we eventually began questioning an SP Diesel. We're on the hunt of a stolen locomotive parts. Have you seen that criminal who took them? Well, now that I think about it, I did see an engine stealing a freight train of valuable parts heading northwest. Saying it was something for an engine named Big G. Which way did Big G go? I don't know, but he smelled a little fishy. Hey, these guys bugging you? No, we were just having a chat. To, that's all. Well, they're bugging us. You're a very nosy see, engine around here. No one hounds when engines get too far nosy in this part. I don't know, free wash down. No, they lose their their headlight. Ow! Next time it's the window. No, you freaks. Sorry about that. Mark, are you okay? Mm. Don't worry, I'm fine. fine. But I'll just have to get onto this case. Even if I have only one ditch light. I was down one ditch light, but my insistence I had to carry on. We eventually stopped at the Black Forest line. Yo, Jason. And it's... But it's broken on the... English on this mystery. I don't know. I've been picking out these smelly... Manure. Word for this... These sawmills. Ever since I... I haven't done this lot since I was down at the... Docks at Canada. 
Aurora, Canada. That's on Canadian National Railroad. So that's where the criminal went. And that's where we'll go. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome, Mark. And good luck. Midnight had fallen as we both roared into the Canadian countryside. When we find this criminal, we'll be soon begin the reward after this, old trusty. I hope so, Detective Mark. We really need to find out where Big G is hiding. Huh! Big G! We finally meet at last. Wait till the FRA hears about what this. You ain't telling the FRA anything. You tell them, boss. Heavy, you're onto this too? Who? Why wouldn't I not be? I never really liked Santa Fe that much either. Yeah, well, I'm getting away with this big cheat. I will. Fight back at you. You. There's no way you're gonna be stopping me, Detective Mark. Cause the end of the line is for you. Well, this won't be the end of me soon. What did you do? Well, like you don't remember, Sheriff Colin. <gasps> we got you this time, Big G. Oh no, it's Sheriff Colin. Let's get him. I don't think so. So. Oh. After them. After them. Right. You can't get away! what? <coughs> you idiot! You too! Uh -huh. Aha! Just when I thought. Fertilizer. Sir. As well as Box Punk's driving wheels. Yes. You and Mark let us right to them, old trusty. We'll take care of them from here. Here. You boys are in a heap of trouble. We got Big D, boss. Oh, good work, man. And Mark, this was a fine mess you got us into. Sorry, Officer Colin. When? Yeah, don't worry. The FRA will know what to do with these criminals for good. You four are under arrest. Arrest for stealing invaluable precious cargo all right men take them away what about you chief don't worry I'll catch up Curse is you, and Detective Mark. Ah, shut up, Big G. E, let's go. Oh. Mark, I cannot believe you were a detective. Me neither. I didn't think that really happened. It did too. Well, that was quite an interesting story. <laughs> sure, cheer me up with my stuffed smoke bike blues. Incredible. I can't remember the last time I was a police officer. 
I wonder if it was really all true.